After nearly two decades at the helm of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Providence, Bishop Thomas Tobin will soon be handing control over to a new leader. Pope Francis appointed Reverend Richard Henning of New York to be the next bishop in Rhode Island. A guest on this week's Newsmakers, Tobin reflected on his years running the Diocese of Providence. 12 News reporter Tim White and the host of Newsmakers is here now with the details. Bishop Tobin was installed as the eighth Bishop of Providence in 2005. In our interview, he acknowledged that his leadership of the Providence Diocese was sometimes polarizing. Bishop Thomas Tobin has been an outspoken leader of the Catholic Church in Rhode Island, often using Twitter. So I recognize when I tweet something, it could be a reaction. So I try to be a little bit more prudent now than I was in the past, I suppose. I guess some things in the past I may have worded differently, but that's hindsight. Tobin has previously stepped away from the social media platform and says he likely will again. When I'm unplugged, when I'm uh, retired, my actually my intention at this point is to unplug completely and not to be involved in Twitter at all. I think I've heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't retired then. Tobin's tenure sometimes drew national attention, including his comments on gay rights and abortion. There are some people who certainly don't like me, but it, it strikes me that in, in today's world, a bishop who doesn't have some enemies probably hasn't done his job very well. Because if you're preaching the truth, if you're teaching the, the faith of the church, there are going to be a lot of people who don't like that, especially in a very liberal and a very secular culture. Bishop Richard Henning is expected here in January. Tobin says he will work with Henning until he officially retires in the spring. Tim White, 12 News. Tim, thank you. And you can watch the full interview with Bishop Tobin on Newsmakers this Sunday or watch it right now on WPRI.com.